Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today in this video guys, I will be doing an in-depth review of this Medexis optical flow sensor with LiDAR 3901L0X. As you know guys, this is one of the important sensor if you want to have an altitude hold functionality onto your drone. In this video guys, I will be also going through some of the technical specifications and feature with this optical flow sensor has to offer and towards the end of the video guys i will be also telling you how to wire this optical flow sensor onto your flight controller so guys if you are new to assembling drone ensure that you watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out on any important information or instructions that i have to share before we move further guys if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos let's get started so guys, before we can move with the technical specifications and feature which this sensor has to offer, let's quickly unbox this and see the contents inside. So before we can unbox this, as you can see, this comes in this anti-static packaging with the Matexis logo onto the top. And then you have a QR code here onto the top for downloading the user manual if you want to use it. In this video, guys, I will be telling you all about those specification, guys, so ensure that you watch this video till the end. And you can see here, guys, onto the top, there is nothing more other than this branding and it says it is optical flow sensor and LiDAR sensor SKU number is 3901L0X made in China with some barcode information and this Matrix is branding onto the top. Now let's quickly unbox this and see the sensor itself. So here you can see guys in this packaging it comes with nothing more than the sensor itself as you can see guys this sensor is really small it has a wider width but it has a very light weight of around two gram only so it will not weigh a lot onto your drone frame guys it comes with two sensors here on board one is your optical flow sensor which is 3901 and it comes with an onboard lighter sensor as well for range finding which is VL53L0X which has a range from around 2 cm to around 200 cm which is around 2 meters so you can have an altitude hold from this LiDAR sensor from 0 cm to 2 meters only so guys how this optical flow sensor works is very similar to your optical mouse so whenever you move your mouse your optical mouse is able to sense the movement and the direction of movement just as and when you are sliding the mouse so this works in the same principle guys whenever your drone is moving front or back your optical flow sensor will be able to detect the motion and then will be able to correct the position of your drone so as to keep it at one place and the lighter sensor will be able to give you the height reading to ensure that your drone stays at a given height so this is how it works guys so it will help you to hold the position at one place and at the same time guys it will also help you hold the height of your drone at one place without the use of the gps so any indoor drone guys if you are making which requires an altitude hold functionality and a position hold functionality this sensor is is very useful guys so guys now let's quickly see the ports which are available on this sensor and how to connect this onto your flight controller so guys here you can see this is your optical flow sensor which looks like a camera and then this smaller chip that you have is your lighter sensor so as to be able to sense the height here you can see guys it has four ports your tx and rx pin so you will be able to connect this sensor onto any free uart which is present on your drone here you can see guys you have ground and 5 volt so as to be able to power this chip using 5 volt supply which is available on your flight controllers so whenever you power this guys it takes around 40 milliampere of the current so as to be able to operate correctly so ensure that guys whenever you are supplying 5 volt and ground the output port is capable enough to provide at least 40 milliampere of the current here in addition to that guys you can see there is an arrow onto the top so whenever you install this lidar sensor onto your drone ensure that this arrow is facing onto the front side of your drone so unlike other sensor guys you cannot install this sensor onto the top of your drone or inside the drone it has to be installed onto the bottom side of the drone with this arrow facing on towards the front side of the drone in my future videos guys i will be telling you how to install this slider sensor onto your drone frame guys so ensure that you stay tuned to my channel onto the back side guys here you can see it has a matexis logo 
and it says this is optical sensor with lidar sensor inbuilt it has a serial port as well guys and then there are few more pads onto the back which you can use as well to connect it onto your flight controller guys but as of now inav do not support the serial connection it only supports the msp protocol which is available through the uart so that is how you are going to connect this sensor and configure this sensor in the inav firmware guys in my future videos guys i will be also telling you how to configure this optical flow sensor after installing onto your drone frame guys so ensure that you stay tuned to my channel so that is what you have on the sensor guys on to the top guys you can see you have uh, 3mm holes so this will be compatible with the holes of your 30 mm stack which is available so this is what you have as a physical specifications of this metexis optical flow and lighter sensor guys now let's quickly see the technical specifications what it has to offer and how to connect it to the flight controller in detail so guys as per the technical specification goes for this metexis 3901 L0X optical airflow sensor guys. This Metexis optical airflow sensor guys has two components. One is optical flow, another one is LiDAR. Optical flow sensor is PWM 3901 and the LiDAR which is inbuilt on this optical flow sensor is VL53 L0X. The interface you can see here guys is TX and RX so it is compatible with any free UART which you have available on your flight controller guys so the protocol supported for this matexis optical flow sensor connection is msp so whenever you connect this on to the free UART of your flight controller you need to select the msp protocol to activate this optical flow sensor so here you can see guys the lidar has a working range of 8 cm to 200 cm. The field of view for optical flow sensor is 42 degrees and for the LiDAR is 27 degrees. The minimum illumination required for the optical flow sensor to work is greater than 60 lux and the input voltage on which it can operate is 4.5 volt to 5.5 volt so here you can see you have ground and 5 volts so as to be able to power this optical flow sensor so the power consumption of this optical flow sensor when it is operating is 40 milliamperes so that is the current that it is going to draw whenever you connect this onto your flight controller so ensure that guys whenever you power this up your power supply has minimum 40 milliampere current supplying capacity so here it says that guys who properly initialize this optical flow sensor it has to be at least 20 centimeter above the ground so as to be able to initialize properly the maximum range of the lidar as i told you guys is two meters so guys this optical flow sensor can be used to hold the altitude of your drone from zero to two meter at a throttle of zero to hundred percent if your lidar is enabled you can connect this optical flow sensor using any free UART which is available on your flight controller. As you can see guys in this new 3901L0X optical flow sensor you do not have trigger and echo implemented so you don't need this as of now here on this optical flow sensor to work. So one important thing guys to note here is if your flight controller do not have an inbuilt barometer or if you have not connected an external barometer onto your flight controller guys you will not be able to activate the navigation altitude hold mode in your inav settings so for the altitude hold mode guys ensure that guys you have barometer as well in addition to this optical flow lidar sensor so now guys let's quickly see how to connect this optical flow sensor onto your flight controller as you know guys i'm going to use medexis f765 wsc flight controller on my drone guys so here you can see i'm going to use uart7 to be able to connect this optical flow sensor onto my flight controller guys as i told you guys before you can use this wiring diagram as a template to connect it to any flight controller guys all you have to follow is to connect the lighter sensor onto a free UART powering this up using 5 volt and ground here you have 5 volt and ground on my flight controller and then using any free UART you can connect this as RX and TX where RX goes to the TX pin of your flight controller and TX of the optical flow sensor goes to RX pin of your flight controller so this is how you connect 
your Metexis optical flow sensor onto your flight controller. In my future videos, guys, I will be telling you how to configure this optical flow sensor to work properly on your flight controller firmware, guys, in INAP or Beta Flight. So ensure that, guys, you stay tuned to my channel so that you do not miss out on my future videos. So this is it, guys. This is the high-level overview of this Metexis 3901L0X optical flow sensor with LiDAR. And this is how you connect your optical flow sensor onto your flight controller. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys like this video, please do not forget to hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I will try and answer as soon as possible. If you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for my new videos. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching and clear skies.